This is part 39 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different events that are triggered when a route change occurs in an Angular application. We'll also discuss logging the route change events and event handler parameters to inspect their respective properties. When a route navigation occurs in an Angular application, these are the events that are triggered. Location change start, route change start, location change success, and route change success. Let's prove this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we have been working with in our previous videos in this series. At the moment, we are within our student's controller function. I'm going to delete this piece of code right here, which is handling location change start event. And I'm going to inject root scope object into the controller function. In addition to that, I'm also going to inject the log service. And then I'm going to copy and paste some code here. If you look at this newly pasted code, we're handling the four events that are triggered when a route navigation occurs in an Angular application. Notice we are handling location change start, route change start, location change success, and route change success. If you look at what these event handler functions are doing, they're simply logging these statements, location change start fired, route change start fired, etc. So let's save these changes and let's reload our application and then I'm going to launch browser developer tools. At the moment, notice we are on slash students. I am going to navigate to slash courses from there. And look at that. As soon as a route navigation occurs, those are the four events that are triggered. Route change start, location change start, location change success, and route change success. In our previous video, we have used $route.originalPath property to get information about the next route that the user is navigating to. The question that we asked at that point is, how do we know this next parameter of this route change start event has got that property $route.originalPath? Well, the easiest way is to log those parameters to the console and inspect the properties they have. Let's do that now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Now, we'll just log the parameters of these two event handlers. We do that the same way for the other event handlers as well. So I'm going to delete these event handlers from here. And if you look at location change start event handler function, it has got three parameters. The first parameter is the event parameter, which contains the information about the route change event itself. And the second parameter is next parameter, which contains information about the next route that we are navigating to. And the third parameter has information about the current route. Now, even the route change start event handler function has got the same set of parameters. So let's simply paste them here. And another thing that I'm going to do is, instead of using dollar $root scope, I'm going to use the scope object. So let's use scope instead of root scope. And then at the moment, we are just logging you know, the statement saying that respective event is fired. In addition to that, let's also log the parameters. So we want to log the event parameter. In addition to that, let's also log next and current. Let's do the same in route change start event handler. All right, so let's save our changes and let's actually reload our page. Now look at this. At the moment, again, we are on slash students. Now let's navigate to courses. Look at that. Route change start fired and the first parameter here is the event itself. So when we expand this, we have a lot of information about that event. Okay, and then we have the next parameter which contains information about the next route. So we were on slash students and we navigated to slash courses. So slash courses is the next route. And look at that, the next parameter has got dollar dollar route. And when I expand that, it has got original path. And look at that, original path is having a value of slash courses, the URL that we are navigating to, the next route. And the third parameter is the 
current parameter which contains information about the current route. Again, this current parameter has got dollar dollar route and it also has got original path property which contains information about the current route. So you can inspect these parameters to see all the properties they have. And then we have our location change start event. Okay, so the first parameter again here is the event itself. Notice dollar location change start. And then look at the next and current parameters. You know, next and current parameters have the full URLs, the full next and current URLs. So logging these parameters will definitely give us some valuable information. And here is the code to log the events themselves. And here is the code to log the event parameters. Thank you for listening and have a great day.